Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome corner bunk bed travel trailer made by Winnebago. This is a 2021 Winnebago Mini model 2801BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Tobles. It's World's Only Channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome mini Winnebago, not a mini Winnie, but a mini by Winnebago travel trailer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? It's going good. I'm excited to take a look at this Winnebago. We haven't had the opportunity to explore as many of their uh, towables. Yep. So excited to see what it has. We're always excited to see new travel trailers. That's right. And it's just super fun and exciting. Will, let's begin! All right. Model is Mini 2800-2801BHS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is... 32 feet, five inches. The dry weight is 8,800 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 820 pounds. There's nothing mini about this. Ain't it's a nothing. big, it's yeah. big sun gun right here. This is uh, right up here. We do have a lipper component power tongue jack, okay? Propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. Now check this out. This is a molded fiberglass front cap. This is very nice. This is an option. If you look at that one over there, that does not have the fiberglass front cap. We do have the diamond plate rock guard here. And here's something that I really like. They use the lipper component Invisihold locks on every single one of them. So nobody has your same master key. Look at how big that storage is there. Very nice with slam latch doors. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights, okay? I like how the awning's down that way, right. so. So it's under the outside kitchen, under that door right way right there. Electric stabilizing jacks, very nice. I might not have mentioned this. This is a higher end travel trailer. This is nice, it's, it's luxury. You got your water heater right here, place to hook up TV on the outside. And then right here, Will, that is your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Love it. Look at these tires, Will, they're the Westlakes. Super STs, I love those. ST225-75 R15. And we do have the Dexter axles right there. Check this out. We do have the nice lipper component solid steps here. Very nice. Check out what we got. Oh my God, they did it. Look at that. Winnebago finally put, oh, okay. Hang on a second. I lied, sorry. That is a micro mini. Oh. which didn't have the fiberglass front cap. You're right. This one's the Mini that does have the fiberglass front cap. And they added the Asdale sticker. Asdale is a green base material that will never delaminate on you. Winnebago's been using it for about three or four years. They just haven't told anybody about it, not even their salespeople. Right. So I'm glad that they add that. Has the Comfort Tech package, the Explorer package, and the three-year limited warranty. Very nice. And then we do have a nice little outside kitchen here. Hot point refrigerator. I got something to say about that as well. <laughs> nice little ki kitchen sink area and a suburban cooktop. And that sink is plumbed through? Yes, yes. Now, Will. Yeah. About two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, a lot of people were giving me crap because I was making fun of the name Hot Point. Right. Man, Hot Point's been around forever. Hot Point's been making refrigerators since before you were born. Okay, okay, it might be a good brand. It's a dumb name. Right. Hot Point, I want a cold point. I want a cold fridge. Because they started with stoves or ovens or something. Right. So it was hot. Yes. If it's a stove, I want that Hot Point. Right. You know? Coming they, around, what? They just need to brand it different. Yeah. Coming around the back, we do have a nice, you know, that's like us doing boat reviews, but still calling it RV reviews. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? 
we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky 300 pound hitch vertical weight good for a bike rack you do have your spare tire spare tire carrier right here and then check this out it is prepped for a backup camera okay and i love this you have That's the door so cool. This is the best part about the corner box. Yep. Door right here. The bed flips up out of the way. Very, very nice. And we do have a one-piece TPO roof. And then, well, that one's solid. This ladder is secure. All right. That's a big step, though. Be careful. Let's go up there and take a look. All right. Okay. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. One air conditioning unit. Okay. King Air digital antenna right there. There's a place for a Max Air fan. And then look at this. It does have the 100 watt solar flex that's already on the roof. Shoot. My brother's friend just died from, or brother's friend's dad just died from bees. What's that? So my brother's friend's dad just died from bees. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Great, and if you haven't already, Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What did RV salesman's go take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Right over here, we do got your cable hookup, satellite hookup. Oh, 30 amp unit. Okay, so that one AC unit, not prepped for two. Black tank flush, potable water fill, potable, potable. There's where you dump your tank and here's your outdoor shower. And here's your buttons for your electric stabilizing jack. Oh, watch your step here, Will. Okay. Finishing up with the driver's side. There's another dump right there. That's probably just for gray water. And then here's the other side of that storage. And you do have a battery disconnect right there. Well, well, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, we will start up front. Got the bedroom right up here. And we got the kitchen and dining area right here. Living area in the middle. Bathroom in the back corner. Very nice. And the bunks on the other corner. Yes, now well, before we begin, yes. want to take a quick second to thank the sponsor campgroundviews.com sure now the show isn't able to, we're not able to do what we were able to do without campgroundviews.com so big shout out to them and if you guys don't know what campgroundviews.com is that is the google earth the google maps for campsites they've partnered with recreation.gov so you can tour state and national parks do a 360 tour make sure you can drive there and park there okay and you can actually set your date parameters and book directly through the website. So, we do have an interview with Mark, the owner of campgroundviews.com. We will link that right here and after this video. Big shout out to campgroundviews.com. Will, let's continue the video. All right. We're gonna start with the bunk beds. Cool. Okay. Again, love, 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 love the bunks. Love the corner bunks. Love how the bunks flip up out of the way. Me personally, uh -huh. If I was buying a travel trailer, if I was single or married with kids, it doesn't matter. This would be the style that I would get because this isn't a bunk room. Right. This is corner bunks. It doubles as storage. It's only 10% of the RV. And so it's out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We put all the crap here, Yuna's dog food, whatever we wanted back here. It works out really, really well. And we got the Teddy Bear Mattress Series right here. Very nice. That's cool. what that's what we would do. Right over here, look at this. Huge pantry space. Now, I love how they started doing this because this is conveniently parked behind the entertainment center. Right. You got your storage above here. Okay. TV right here. You even got a wireless phone charger. DVD player there. And then look at this. Here's what I will say, Will. Uh-huh. We make fun of Winnebago sometime being in the industry for the price point. Right, they're pricey. But after the review from yesterday, 
Yeah. I kind of see what you're paying for a little right. bit more. You know what I'm saying? Like things are holding together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> things are held together pretty well. And then not only do you have that big wardrobe behind there, but you're still very spacious and you're still directly across from your sofa. Nice looking balances. You know, I wish, like, you see this, I wish they did the motorhomes like this. Just right. a little bit of texture, a little bit of character. You have your sofa right here, and this does come out and make a bed. Look at this, Will. This is nice. Well, it is nice. See, this is the floor plan style that I like as well. Very nice. You're still able to use the bathroom. You're still able to walk around. There's still plenty of space in here. This is the people's coach. Right. This is the, you know, I honestly think, like, and not this brand, any brand, but you could have a dealership selling this one floor plan style. Right. If it's in Cougar or Grand Design or Winnebago or any of them, this floor plan style just kicks butt and takes It does, things. it really does, yeah. And then right over here is your dinette, okay? We do have storage underneath the dinette. Very nice. Storage underneath. Uh, and then this is the dream dinette. Just looks oh, right up. That Look is at nice. That. That is very nice. Nice dinette. Big windows. No cabinetry above. Very, very nice. Yep. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's... Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> that one was my mess up. <laughs> MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $47,930 MSRP. Sale price, Will, can you see there the sale price? I cannot. No, and it would be over on this side. <laughs> no, because this is a current model year, they're not advertising sale price. But Will, we know you can get a good price on this. And if somebody wants to get the best price in America, Will, Tell everybody how to do it. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV. Somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy this RV, not a problem. That's what tab number two is for. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we're here to answer your questions to help get you to the buying process. We're here, we're here to answer your questions. Or if you have no interest in buying and you just want to say hey, that's what tab number three is for. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Bear, 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 bear. Will, let's continue the video. All right. All right, so we will start right here with the fridge. Okay. We've got a nice Dometic. This is a um, compressor fridge as yes, well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A nice, good size fridge. Really nice size. Hey, clean looking as it is well. Very clean looking. There yeah. was storage underneath oh, there. Oh, this set. A little bit of storage right there. Bro, that's good storage. Listen to how it's gliding as yeah. well. Again, guys, I've been a big critic. I, I I eat my words. Right. I've been a big critic of Winnebago. After last video, you know the the drawers, the wheel bearings. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Kind of falling apart. Yeah, this is doing really well. It is. Um, nice convection microwave. A little bit of a smaller one. Yep. Yep. Nice range hood here. Hood range. With the light. Mm-hmm. Three burner suburban cooktop. This one looks a little bigger too. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like that backsplash? Yeah, that backsplash is good actually. Yeah. It's not nothing too fancy. Uh huh. They're going for like that concrete look, I think. Yeah, man. Uh, nothing too fancy, but I like that it covers all the way around. And uh huh. Everything. Uh huh. Um, and then no oven. It's a storage. Yeah. Okay. But you got a couple drawers here for oh, one drawer for pots and pans and everything. A little bit of storage up top here. Yes, sir. Nice window on your. Uh, cooking side and camping side mm -hmm. so you can look outside see what's going on let in fresh air these are not solid surface countertops nope nope a couple drawers right here I mean look at it it's just nice and easy and some more storage up top yes sir 
like Matt said, you know, nice backsplash, continued all the way around. Look at that, silver on silver. Yep, silver on silver, spray faucet, nice big sink. And a little more storage right there. Yes, sir. That's all. And then uh, it's now time for the tall test. Okay. I think this is a radius shower, isn't I it? I don't think so. I no. think it's a 30 by 36. All right. Oh, I think you're right. And they put the dome in the middle, which might save them. Would you look at that? Yeah. It's tight, I'm not gonna lie. If... But it, yeah, the, I would have failed it if it was yes. this way or, you but know. But the fact that they did put it in the middle, mm -hmm. so give it smart. to them. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right. Let me get out and then... No, 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 you're good right there. Okay. Right here we do have the medicine cabinet and everything. Nice little sink. Little storage action right there. Now you can climb on out, Will. Okay. And I think we're looking good on the piece. It looks like it. Oh, porcelain. Well, this is a prime poop position. Ding! Very nice. Cool. Cool. Let's wrap it up with the bedroom. Okay. Look at this. Nice big doorway. Easy to walk around the bed. Okay. Windows on both sides. Power USB on both sides. Okay. Very this nice side. storage. Same over here. Drawer as well. Very nice. I mean, look at this. I mean, the and hardware that up. they're using is really, really nice. Doesn't need struts. Yes. Um, USB port there. Very nice bedroom area. A TV would go right over there. Okay. I do like this pocket door. And then... And it's a nice wide door, too. Yes. A little bit of storage underneath. Yep. Cool. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the Winnebago and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Yes. Okay. I'm going to go first. Okay. The fact that this is only 30 amps. Is it? Yes. Mm. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with it not having the second AC unit. It should be prepped though. Exactly. If you, if you want to summer down south or something. That's what I'm saying. And don't get me wrong, this is not going to be an issue because it's so well built and well insulated. I want to have two ACs. Yep. That's number one. Okay. I forgot to mention, look at how high the ceilings Very are. Very high ceilings, yeah. That's number one. Number two, Will? Okay. Mine is right here. So oh. this is a travel trailer for people. You know, you can sleep one, two, three, four, six. like eight people, depending on the size, up to eight people, I'll call it. Um, and there's just not much counter space and they didn't even put a flip up here. Mm, like, they could have. You know, just a little bit more counter space would have helped a lot. They would have and they should have. Yeah. That is number two. And then, well, do you have a number third? Um, Cause I hate going there. Yeah. But I've been I doing, here's to. what I will say. I've been doing this whole review looking. Yeah. Trying to be petty. Right. Couldn't find nothing. I think we're going to save the carpet on the slide outs. And combo that with the floor vents. Yep, that floor vent. Well, it's only that it's one. It's only that one vent. in the bathroom. I'm not even going to combo that. Yeah, I'm not worried about that one. It's not a bad placement. Um. Seriously, I'm saying the carpet. Just because there's nothing else. And I'll combo it with the small microwave. Yeah, since there's no oven. Yep. Um. Really, overall, a fantastic travel trailer. Oh no! And I got another. I'm gonna do another combo because I did think of some. Okay. The fact that. The bathroom's not on that side. They should have flip-flopped it. Oh, and then they could have done a door right into the bathroom. Yep. 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 True. Great. Well, that's three things we don't like. Now, for the easy part, three things we love about this travel trailer. Okay. You want to go first or me? You go first. Um, I love this dinette. I love this floor plan arrangement. Other than that being flip-flop, I just think it's so smart. It's big. It's spacious. It's plenty of width. Plenty of depth and plenty of height, and just simple, well-rounded 
all around travel trailer. Yes. That's number one. Will, number two? Okay. I'm going to say this bedroom area because a lot of times with um, bunk models, the bedroom is very, very tight. It is. And it's tight in here. Don't get me wrong. But for a bunk room, you can get to this side. You can get to that side. You can walk down. You have a nice big door and you have some storage in here. I, I think they did really good with it for what they were working with. I'm going to combo that with the corner flip up beds. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, well, number three... the hardware just like yeah having a tree the it's finish this. call the, it like the not the finish but like the the this you ready just nice yeah i mean it, the it wasn't smoothness smooth. the smoothness that's what i'm trying to show everybody you know very nice smooth everything opens and closes nice you can tell that you know this is a little bit more money than your traditional than than the other ones yeah but it's nice it's well built well finished and it's just a great travel trail yep that's right well well that's it that's the review thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this travel trailer please call text send me an email it is mets rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs if you like this floor plan but you want to see what this grand design competes against or um what this winnebago competes against we're going to put its competitors right there and there will is there anything you'd like to say sure all right guys thanks so much for watching again this is um a very nicely built unit i think mm -hmm. um so if you got kids and you want to do a lot of camping you want something that's going to hold up a little bit better i think this could be a great option yes make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like and three things you dislike uh, make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe big shout out again to campgroundviews.com yes. we have a video yeah. with the owner right there yep we also have a link make sure you check out campgroundviews.com sure. this show couldn't happen without them thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and will we'll see you next time